Hi, everybody. Um, I am Liz. I'm Elizabeth Brewer. I'm a um, mixed media artist from Spring Hill, Florida. That sounded weird, didn't it? I was copying um, my friend, Lori Jenkins, Lori Marie Jenkins. She always says that she's Lori Marie Jenkins and she's a mixed media mixed media artist from Vallejo, California. See, I know where she's from because she says it every time. But anyhow, she was the one. I was watching her a couple of days ago and she was making something similar to this right here. Of course, mine isn't exactly the same, but this is where I get the idea from. And so she took, I think she took a 6 by 12 piece of... um cardstock. I used, what I have here is a, a pamphlet that you get from the, wherever they sell paint and they send, so, you know, get, you can get paint samples. That's where I got this piece and it's long. So I, I'm making paper dolls. This is what I'm doing. Um, you can see here, I've got Four of them pretty much finished. I think they're finished. Um, now, the way Lori did hers is she made sure that they, like this one, it folds perfectly in the middle. These don't fold perfectly in the middle, but I'm finding that it's okay with me that they don't. And so what I did was I went to a magazine and I got faces out of the magazines. And then I just put the face on I put faces on there see this you can see where it's the paint samples um, and I just put faces and I use those faces as my beginning and then but I don't have another a sample flyer just like that but I have let me see somebody made a big mess in my area who did this big mess who in the world came in here? Okay, let's see. What do I have? This. I have this. Okay, I have this one. This is similar, but this one's smaller. Whoops, I hit that stand that's got my... Okay, now see, here, this is a... That's what you can get. You can get a... This one opens into thirds. So it's like um, 14... And about 23 inches. Darn it, I gotta quit hitting that thing. Okay. Okay, so now what I what I did with mine is I folded it. And then back in accordion fold the whole thing. Back and forth. Okay, that's what I did. And then, and um, Lori Marie Jenkins did the same kind of a thing. And, um, and if you go to her, if you go to her website, hers, her channel, you'll see how she does hers. And then hers is a bit different. And so, so, you know, if you can look at mine and then look at hers, you know, you can then come up with your own idea. So then on here, all I did was I cut, um, let's see, I'm going to cut here her shoulders. This is going to be their shoulders, like here. And that's the shoulders. And then I'll go around like this. And then that's going to be their little heads. Now, you can leave, you can just leave it this far. And then you can add legs underneath. You know, I think I will do that on this one. I'm going to just go this far on this one. And then see when you open it up, you've got all of those dolls connected. 
And so, hmm. The hello was ringing, but I couldn't get to it. Oh, my hello was ringing? Thank you, darling. It was probably nobody important. Um, yeah, nobody important. Let's see. You can make a shape too. Now here, maybe I would go, you could go in here and kind of make a shape of where her arms, where her arms would come in and then here her skirt. Maybe like this. Maybe like this. Yeah, I think I would leave this one like that. And then, so you basically have, it's like we used to do paper dolls back in the day. But I love doing paper dolls. They're so much fun. And then here you just start with a face. Here, you can add anything for the hair. And then fabric or, 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 um, or paper to make her dress and however you're going to design her. I kind of like that one. That one turned out pretty good. And so that is what I did with, I can't talk and do something. Um, yeah, that's how I got this one started. Now this one was big and I cut a, a piece on these ones to where there's kind of like legs. And so let me just do one up here. Now, so I've got these four, if you can see, one, two, three, four, that I have basically done. I may still add some more to them, but now I'm going to see what I'm going to do with, with this one here. So... On um, these ones, I've used just scraps. They're just scraps of paper, just scraps, things that I've torn up. And I like tearing. I like tearing things. So, let me see. What can I find? What can I find? Let's see. I want her to be kind of, she looks like she's having a lot of fun. She almost looks like she wants to get into mischief. And so, let me see, this one. I'm going to, I'm going to do this one for her dress. This is going to be her main part of her dress. And so, I'm just going to tear her out of dress. See how I'll do this. Boy, that sure is crooked old mundo. Crook old mundo. Good grief, Elizabeth. Good thing I didn't decide to be a dress designer for a living, for a career. I would have gone broke. Okay. Okay, so I'm... There we go. That's how's that. How's that? How's that? Okay. Okay, so let's see what I'm going to do here. I see. Just till I get the shape sort of like I like it. Okay, now she is. I have this. Let me see. I also have this. What I'm going to do with this. 
This is like paper raffia, kind of. It's not raffia, but it's it's made out of paper. I use that on hair for hair on one of my little ladies over here. I gave her some beautiful hair. Okay, so I'm going to take some of this and I'm going to just get that glued down. So it hangs. It's going to make her look like she's got a like she's got a little Hawaiian hula skirt going on. I think that's my idea anyway. And so I'm going to put let's see, let's see if I get enough hula. She wants to do the hula hula. Hula 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 hula. So and and okay, that's oh losing track of her dress. Okay. You can't really see what I'm doing, can you? Okay, now I need to have just a strip of paper. Here's one. I'm going to put glue across that strip. We don't want anything to go to waste. So there we go. We'll put that strip across the top of those strips to hold them. That strip across the top of her little grass skirt. And then that's what that's going to be. Yeah, see? Do I look like I know exactly what I'm doing? Don't ever take my stuff as a tutorial. My stuff is only showing you what I'm doing. So you can either learn something from it to do, or you can learn something not to do. I don't know what I'm doing. You know what? And then when you get, when you, ugh, I just got advertisements in the mail for who I should be voting for for our governor, but I don't want that guy. So I'm going to cover him up. Look at this. Look at me do this. Look at, just look at this. See? I'm just going to put all that right there. And I'm going to just staple it. See, that starts me a cluster. Instead of throwing them scraps in the trash. Now look, and then look, I have these scraps. So what if I take these scraps then? And um, I just love them clusters. Now look at this. I'm just going to take these scraps like that. And then I'm going to put those on here. So I just went through my junk mail from today's mail and just popped circles out of it. There we go. That's the start of a cluster, too. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Now, where are we? Where were we at before I got clustered away? Now I'm going to. I still don't like that lump right there. Okay, let's see. Now, now I'm going to, now I want to uh, just ink, put a little color there. Something about inking these edges, it just amazes me how it changes. And I love these pads. I've decided you don't really need the handle. I showed the handle one time. But you don't really need the handle. just need the pad. This pad is going to last forever. Let me put some color on her grass skirt. And by the way, underneath, underneath in the description box, I started a little Amazon affiliate link because I can show 
my favorite supplies and things that I use. So if you're looking for them, and I put these on there, the pads. Now, I also put the handle. You don't need the handle, though, just the pads. But you might want the handle. If you order the handle, you get the handle and two pads, or maybe just one. I think it's two pads. But then you can order just three pads. And that's what I... and and. They, I, you know what I have trouble with is when I use the, like the round Tim Holtz ones, I get all them round spots on it. With this brush, it's because it's more like a brush. I don't get that round stuff. So that's what I like to use these to ink the sides of my, um, ink the edges of my, um, uh, my papers. So now see, that's what I'm going to do there. That's going to be, so now let me give her her, get her dress on there. Okay, so now she's got her dress on. And on all of these, I have been using, they've all been getting a, um, one of my, one of my, um, these, one of my, um, Oh, uh, these clusters, a cluster. They all get a cluster here. But let me see how I'll do this before I put that cluster on there. I may, hmm, let's see, maybe I'll take, I just got a few pieces of paper I just grabbed, a few. Let me just go right Oh, here. There's a scrap of, um, okay, I'm going to tear this like this. I'm going to make two of this. That sort of looks like elbows, like this. Yeah, so she's kind of looks like she's holding. Okay, that almost looks like elbows. Now, you might not think that, but hey, buddy, I do. There we go. And then I'm going to put this cluster right here. And so she looks like she's holding the cluster. It's just beautiful on there. These are just, I mean, when it comes to art... I get an ink. I gotta give that a little bit of just a little age to put that little color on her. A little age. There we go. See now, I might want to put. Let's see. If I had a piece, okay, Elizabeth, you've got enough lace here to go around the world twice on there. So why would you even? Hang on a second here. Oh, look at this. This will do it. This will do this. Ooh, that'll be pretty. Let me just take that. And I'll put that on the edge of her dress. And give it a little bit of pizzazz. We always look for pizzazz. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So we'll just go... I think that will hold it. This glue is really good glue, so I'm thinking maybe I should have used fabric glue, but I think this will hold just fine. Okay. Huh. I don't know, though. Let's just leave it there for a minute. Let's just leave it there for a minute and see. If not, I will um put something different. Now, you know what I think I want to do? I think I want to, like, cut... Let me see. I think I want to cut something that sort of looks like a flower pot. And put it down. Well, that didn't work like I thought it would. 
And so I'm going to do it like that. Just do whatever it is. Upside down far pot. So see, you just got to do whatever happens. Whatever happens, happens. There, we'll just put that under there. Just so there's something. She's got one long grass there on her skirt. Okay, now that. Move that back over there. Yeah, I can tell the glue is drying. Okay, she needs hair. She needs hair. So now for hair, you know what see you can do here is I can make like even just like a little line here. Maybe kind of make it more look like she's got arms there holding that. And um, holding her little cluster. Now... You might can't see much because I'm I'm in just such a I got such mess, but hey, it's me. My my mess is now I want okay, what was it? Oh her hair. Now let's see. I oh, oh gosh. I got a happy meal today and this this was some of the packaging. Some of the packaging to hold this was some of the packaging to um, keep things safe in my Happy Mail that I got from Pat. Pat, thank you for this packaging. But look at this. Have you ever seen that? I just get so excited over different kind of packaging. I get excited. But look at that. Now we're going to see what we can come up with for hair out of this. Okay. And so... Just tear it. Nothing. Don't let anything go to the waste. Waste bin. Nothing. Let me see. Maybe I need to wrinkle it a little. So it won't try to squish up. Now let's see. Yep. I mean, uh, girls, anything, anything, girls and guys, wh whatever, whoever you are. I have some guys that watch too, but um, look, just don't let anything go to waste. And any, look, we can make, here I made the, her hair out of a bingo card. Do you see that? That's a bingo card. And I cut that. Cut, put the free space there. That's a bingo. She got bingo here. She's ready to go to the bingo parlor. Okay, now see her hair can come down over her dress a little bit. She's gone long here. Okay, that's a little bit of hair. We gotta get some more. Wrinkle that stuff up. Oh, just have fun. Just have fun. When you do this, just do it for fun. And let it be the journey. Let it be the journey. Don't think about what is going to be the final. Don't think about, well, what do I want this to look like in the end? Because you don't know what it's going to look like. But see, you just keep adding things. Look, she likes her long hair. Well, we got to put some hair extensions on the other side. <gasps> I love this paper. Gosh, I love this. Look at this. It stretches out. Yeah. These people that, you know, look at this. This is just like so perfect. I bet they don't know that they're sending you free art supplies when they, um, Okay, let's see. Just rip apart what you need. The amount you need here. Okay. Let's get some glue. And let's put this down. Put her hair extension on. See, I'm a beautician now. Okay, now it looks like she needs a little bit more up here. And look. Look at that. 
now. She's beautiful. Is that, what do you think about that? Yeah, it is gorgeous. Okay, now I'm trying to, she didn't get a butterfly yet, did she? Okay, she's going to need a butterfly. Okay, see, now let me put them up there because they need to go on a cluster. All my scraps get used. Look at that. Now I need to get a butterfly. And I just got butterflies today. Are they still in this box? I got so much Happy Meal today. And actually, I've used so much of it already. Because I used... I used some. Okay, this is not the box that had the butterflies. Oh no, the butterflies I put in here. I did, I made so many. Oh, look at this one. Okay, she needs a butterfly. Both of them need a butterfly. Is she going to have hers in her hair? Maybe. And okay, that one's just like that one. So, oh, these butterflies are gorgeous. And I got those from um, Pat Rao. How pretty. It says, if your dreams don't scare you, they are not big enough. Okay, so I need to get a different one because I don't want them to be exactly the same. Oh, look at this one. This is the most gorgeous butterfly. There, you know, this is so pretty. Look, at I just got it from Pat today. Pat Rao. Isn't that beautiful? Look at how dimensional it is. And look at the little dangles. And I think that my girl here is going to love to wear that. Yes, she will. Okay? She is going to love wearing this. So I am no longer going to be a hoarder. I usually hoard the things that I give as, get as gifts. I don't use them up because I think, oh, I don't want to use it. It's just too pretty. But then look at how pretty it makes my girl. Look how pretty she is. She loves her butterfly. Now this one, do I want to put this one down here or do I want to put it in her hair? You know what? I think I want it down here and I think I'm going to put a flower in her hair. And so let me put this one here. And I want a flower in her hair. Oh, see, I need a flower on top of this one, too. And then I still have, oops, hit the camera stick again. I still have three more girls on this side to do. I still have three more. Okay, but I won't do them. I'm just going to do the one right now. And, um... So I have one, two, three, four, five of them almost finished. Just a minute. Let me get my flower box. Where's my flower box? Let's see, is my flower box? Oh, I put it back up here. Up here. Just a minute. Hold still. Hold still. Don't move. Okay, now. I need to make some flowers. I'm running short on the flat flowers. Let me see. Let me see what I have in here. Okay. Oh, this is pretty. See, I got a die for them ones. I could put that one there. And then I need I need a flower for her. Who's well, oh, this one I wanted a flower. Oh, you can't see that one. Just a minute. And oh, this is pretty. Oh gosh, you know all flowers are pretty. It's hard to pick out a pretty flower when all your flowers are pretty. Okay. Gosh, I've got flowers that people have sent me. And I have flowers that I have made. I just love flowers. Well, you know, I was um, I was I was raised in the sixties, you know, and we did the flower power thing. Flower power was very important to us. And so, let's see. Now, see, she could still have 
a flower in her hair. Yeah, she can still have a flower in her hair. Even won't cover up her bingo. It's her bingo. Hair. Oh, and look, her flower matches her butterfly. Perfect. Look at her shoes. Okay, now she has a crown. And so, but even on her crown, she's going to have a flower. There is a flower on her crown, but she's got her butterfly in her hair, but she's kind of plain down here. Did I? Oh, I didn't glue that one. Put the glue on that one. And then, see where? She looks kind of plain. But does that flower go? It seems like no. Yeah, it's going to go right here. It's hard to decide where each item is going to go. But now I got one, two, three, four, five of my girls are done. Oh, I didn't glue that one. That's not good. We need glue. It's not going to stay there on its own. See there? That one, she needs flower. Go, that glue, hold that flower. Look at that flower. It's made out of um, magazine pages. Magazine clip um, punch outs in a magazine. There is on this greeting card, greeting card, scrap paper, painty papers, a greeting card, greeting card, greeting card. This is just paper I tore apart in little pieces, and then I um I um use this stuff in the butt and the brush, and I mean I really this is amazing. These brushes, they're by Surefine, and you can get them at your hardware store. And but like I said, I got my um, link under my Amazon affiliate. See, it's like it's like we go ahead and advertise, but what we do is we get paid for advertising. Not a lot, but they give you a little bit. And then, so if you purchase one, then I might make 12 cents. I don't know. I've never sold anything, so I don't know. But look at this. And now here, we don't want to set lit waste. Now see, these are the pieces that I just took off of um, off of uh, you know, and, and then, you know, you don't have to throw them away. Just staple them in a cluster. I'll put a flower or a butterfly on top of this. I will. And then that'll be pretty. You know, just, I keep adding stuff to them until, see, like this one, all it's got is paper on it. But I'm going to add, I'll put something on there. I'll put something else on there just to add. There's Santa Claus. But usually it's just something I found laying around that I find laying around. And But I'm going to continue going and I'm going to go and I'm going to fix all of my girls. I'm not going to fold it up right now because the glue is not dry. But it will it will fold and if it, it each one will fold. So you'll get it fold in a, a, they say it's a concertina kind of way up and down in, you know, like a, Actually, where this one doesn't have anything in the middle, I almost feel like it needs something. But see, that's okay if the middle pieces bend when you fold it. So it'll fold, 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 fold. And then I think this one I'll leave plain. And this is the one that'll glue to. No, it goes this way. So this is the one I'd need to glue. I already got a face on her, but even still, I might have to glue um, this one to the book. This one will get glued to the paper doll book, and then the whole thing will pull out. And like I said, um, Lori Marie Jenkins is where I got my inspiration to do this, and this is fun. This is fun, all these paper dolls. And so... I'm going to read to you, uh, but now in my happy mail today, and I made a video of my happy mail and I read this, but, um, I always want to read something positive, uh, positive, um, affirmations or a little, um, inspirational something. This, this come in my happy mail from 
um, from Tanya over in Australia. Her last name begins with a K. That's all I can tell you. Well, I can't say that name. But she sent this, and I love this. I'm going to make copies of this and add to other people's happy meals. But it says, what is a friend? A friend is one of the nicest things you can have and one of the best things you can be. A friend is the one who will always be beside you through all the laughter and through each and every tear. A friend is the one thing you can always rely on, the someone you can always open up to. A friend is a sanctuary. A friend is a smile. A friend is a hand that is always holding yours. No matter where you are, a friend is a feeling of forever in your heart. And this is so, so true. And I love this. And Susan, if you're watching this, this is you right here. I love this, but I have, oh, this is wonderful. Okay, that's what I want. I just wanted to kind of show you what I was doing and, and try to encourage you to do the same. It is so much fun and you do not need, you do not need anything fancy to do it with. You just need scraps from you from what you can find around. If you don't have little butterflies on it, I love butterflies. You can cut out a butterfly. Let me show you. Let me show you. Um, right here. Let me show you this butterfly real quick. You probably already did see it if you watched my last video of my Happy Meal. But this came from... This came from um, Pat, from Pat in Ohio. In, she made the box, and in the box it says, "Find true joy and share it with others." And but she made this butterfly. Can you see that? I'm going to make one tonight. I think I'm going to try and put one together. But look how beautiful this is. She cut the butterfly form out of chipboard. She has doilies, the little paper doilies. Let me see if I can get that in the camera. And see how she folded them and ruffled them up? She's got two different sizes. The back one is a little bigger than the front one. And I think it it might be two doilies. I don't know. I, I'm going to have to play with it to find out for sure. But And then this is another one over here. But look at that. And then she's got some, a flower here. She's got some, she's got, you know what? I have some of those and she painted it pink and it's just like a beaded something. She painted it pink to go in the body of the butterfly. She's got very, sorry, very thin, um, fine gold wire that she made the, the antennas with and look. Look at that flower, how pretty. And just, but the butterfly is gorgeous. It is gorgeous. I love this butterfly. And so, yes, that was in my happy mail today from Pat Rao. And, and she put it in this box. Wouldn't this make a beautiful gift to give somebody at Christmas time? This box here is covered with fabric. That's fabric covering on that box. I mean, look how cute it is. But, oh, I love that. It's so gorgeous. Okay. Thank you for coming. And um, I love you all. Thank you for being my friends. And um, may God watch over you every step you take and every move you make. And I will see you on the next video. God bless.